Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very large haul video for you guys today. So I highly recommend you grab a snack or maybe a cup of tea when watching this video because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty long. So a few weeks ago, I was lucky enough to attend a Priceline event, which was the Priceline Beauty Prescription. So there's a bunch of brands there and they've got pretty much all stalls set up. You go up, they tell you about the new products and basically then they give you some product to take with you. And then by the end, you've pretty much got a bag full of just a bunch of makeup and beauty items and just too much to even name at the moment but you will see in the video what I've got in this massive bag. I can already tell the top I'm wearing is just a big mistake for this whole video because if I lift my arms up it's just going to come up but I think we're just going to have to deal with it for now. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick this up but I'm going to try. <laughs> so this is the bag right here. It's huge like it's bigger than my body. Okay, so that is the bag of stuff I got. Now we're going to take it all out and go through each product. I won't spend too much time on each product just because I don't want the video to be too long. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I've got here is a Models Prefer hair curler. I don't own any Models Prefer actual hair tools. I've got a bunch of their makeup, but no hair tools. So this is what the hair curler looks like. It's very nice and sleek. I like kind of like the gold with the black. I do already own probably two to three hair curlers so I think I'm going to put this aside for a giveaway. I won't touch it too much so my germs aren't all over it but just a standard hair curler. Okay so the next thing I've got is this Salon Pro Mini Roller Wax Heater. I've never used one of these before. I don't know if I trust myself to wax my own body. I just kind of shave everything off but this is pretty much like a waxer. It comes with the wax and then it comes with certain rollers like a smaller one and then a larger one and then also like a really long one I guess for arms or legs. It also does say simply connect to phone or USB charger to heat wax ideal for traveling so that's pretty cool. I also did get an Oral-B toothbrush. I really needed a new one so I'm really happy I got this one. I haven't had an electric toothbrush in years so I'm excited to start using one again. So one of my favorite brands Batiste were there and they do like dry shampoos and volumizing sprays. This one is in Sweetie so I believe this is a new scent. I love this dry shampoos. They're the only ones that really work for me. I've used many others in my day and this is the one I always go back to. This brand is just a staple in like my everyday life. I also did get a little kind of bag from Nude by Nature. I'll just open it up. So I really do enjoy the bag. It's perfect for like makeup brushes so I definitely will be keeping this for myself. I did get a little brush with it and this brush is awesome. It's so soft. It just looks so beautiful as well. And I did get their Nude by Nature New and Improved Formula BB Sheer Glow BB Cream. So that's what the packaging looks like. I haven't even opened this up yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this up. It's pretty well sealed, but this one is in the color three nude beige. Let me know if maybe you want to see a first impression and review on this. Okay, so I've got the Veet Sensitive Precision Beauty Styler. I'm really excited to try this one out. I think it's just super handy. The girl said it was good for the face. So like peach fuzz, your mo, your brows, kind of any Anything like that and it's also good for the bikini and underarm area so it's like a little kind of hair shaver thing I haven't used it yet but I'm really excited to try it out the woman I was speaking to at the stand said it's really good for men as well especially for girlfriends who always try to pluck their boyfriend's eyebrows like me I'm always trying to pluck Jared's kind of eyebrow monobrow area and he hates plucking so I think I can actually whip this out and kind of like just buzz the hair off in the middle of his brows so I did go past Blistex as well and they've got kind of this cute pearl like lip balm. It's super cute and it just kind of like flips open. Jared actually stole my blue one. There was a blue one in here. He wanted it. It's on his bedside table so I'm going to leave it there. So these lip balms do smell really good. I believe Jared's is like peach blueberry and this one is in plum vanilla. So that's what they look like. They remind me of like the EOS lip balms I guess. Okay so I did get some high heel cushioning pads just because these are also a staple in my everyday life and I love wearing heels but I hate being uncomfortable so I grab these. So the next product is a new product. This is by Bondi Sands. This is the Men Everyday Gradual Tanning Foam. I don't think Jared's going to use this just because he has naturally tan skin already. He's even more tan than me when I've got fake tan on. I'm wearing Bondi Sands Ultra Dark at the moment. Even with this on he is just so much more tan than me so I don't think he really needs it. I'll probably still end up using it and I'll see what it's like. To go with my Oral-B 
Oral-B toothbrush. They did actually give me some toothpaste as well. This one is the Oral-B 3D White Luxe with White Lock technology. I also did get some products from Freeze Frame. This one is a no needle tropical micro injection, which is very interesting. Again, I have never seen this before or used it myself. So it does say on here, overnight collagen and Botox alternative for advanced line filling and wrinkle relaxing. I'm really interested about this one because I've never used anything like this. I don't think I really need it right now. So it's just like a cream. I would actually really like to try this out on kind of like my smile line area. Not that they're very severe. I just want to see if maybe it makes a difference or not. Okay, so I've got some more kind of skincare products here. This is by the brand Remy Scar. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So it looks like this one treats and prevents spider veins. I don't actually have any spider veins, so maybe I can give this to someone who actually needs it. So it says reduces the appearance of spider veins, instant visual results, and strengthens your vein walls. So I also did get something for the under eye bags, which I feel like I definitely need this. So this one says diminishes eye bags and dark circles, immediate results, and clinically proven effective. Instant tightens and drains. So I think I need this and I can't wait to try it out and see if it works. Okay, so I've got a makeup product for you guys. This is the NYX Beauty School Dropout Palette. So it's pretty large. I'll just open it up. So I'm pretty excited to use this. Let me know if you want to see a tutorial of me trying this palette out. Okay, so this is pretty large. You do get a mirror in it with some examples of makeup, some eyeshadows, looks like blushes and bronzers and contours and also some highlighters as well. So that's what the whole palette looks like. Let me know if you want me to create a look with this. I got some products from Australis. They came in this cute little bag. So the first thing I've pulled out is the Australis High Life Illuminating Strobe Powder. This one is in the color Ignite. So it's more of a yellow tone. I'm not sure if I've already got this. I don't think I do. I don't think mine is as yellow as this one. They also gave me the Australis Match Maker Shade Adjusting Drops. So this is for lightening your foundation. Super excited to try this out. Let me know if you want to maybe see a video on this. So another awesome thing they gave me was the Liquid Strobe Illuminating Drops. This is what it looks like. I'm so excited to try this one out. I kind of wish I did today. So that's what the packaging is like. Super cute. I like how it's glass as well. Again, let me know if you want to see maybe a testing video on this. Sorry, this is so out of order, but I'm just going by what I pull out of the bag. I do have the Bondi Sands Everyday Liquid Gold Gradual Tanning Dry Oil. I've never used this before. I only use their foam. I've heard some people enjoy this and some people think it's really orange. So I guess I have to try it out and see what it's like. Let me know if you do use this and you enjoy it. So L'Oreal was kind enough to give me all of their face masks. I've got the red algae one. I've got eucalyptus and I've also got the charcoal one. I actually already own all of these. So I think I'll be just putting these in a giveaway pile. The next thing I've got here is by a brand called Love Your Skin. So they do have a lip balm, a face moisturizer, and also a face wash in here. And it also did come with these cute little nails polishes. I was actually reading on this brand the other day. This was created by Izzy and I believe she's only 14 years old. She basically wanted to use her mum's skincare and her mum told her it's too harsh for your skin. There's too many chemicals. So she created her own. I think that's super awesome. I wish I thought of something like that. I just, 14 years old, seriously. She's still a child and she created her own brand. So good on you Izzy. Like I'm so proud. That's amazing. So the next thing I've got here is by Pantene. This is their smooth and sleek range so it does come with a conditioner and shampoo so I did need more shampoo and conditioner anyway so I can't wait to start using this so the next thing I've got here is by the brand cinch I hope that's how you pronounce it I can't remember and it is the face cheat moisturizer and glow so she basically created a moisturizer in a bottle that you can spray on your face it also gives you a very illuminating glow I haven't used it on my face yet but she said you can definitely use it under makeup as well and it gives you like a radiant glow I saw her put it on her hand and it literally has like this really glowy look about it so I'm really excited to start using this as well. So I did go past Burt's Bees and they gave me a few little goodies. I've got a complete nourishment facial oil in here. I also did get a tinted lip oil. This one is in the 
color showering sunset we also did get a lip crayon this one is in tahitian sunset so i do have a hydrating mist toner this is by the brand aiken and it is an australian skincare brand i also did stop past the essence stand and i got some goodies i got like an extreme mascara lipstick matte 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 lip gloss eyeliner lip pencil and i also did get like a face palette but i believe i've already got it i did also get to meet viv from the heat group at the essence stand so hi viv it was really nice seeing you and i hope we get to catch up really soon so i did go past lano lips and got a tinted balm and it does have spf in it and it's for dry lips which i totally need i've never heard of this brand before until my friend crystal told me about it and she said it's probably one of the best kind of lip balms she's used and she puts it on overnight just so when she wakes up her lips are really nice and hydrated i do have another thing from aiken this is the cleansing micellar water i go through micellar water so quickly so i'm glad i got this so i've got some rose hip oil by trilogy i love rose hip oil so much i think it's really good for acne scarring so i definitely will be using this i also did get two lip products from the brand savvy these are the ultra matte lip colors so the pink one is in rodeo drive so it's a beautiful hot pink and i also did get the one in lights camera this seems to be a favorite with everyone it's just a really beautiful brown kind of nude so i've got an eyeshadow palette here from bourgeois and it took me like 10 minutes to open this packaging i don't understand when companies have like this little tape thing here like it was over which is fair enough but then it's joined to like the labeling on the back and i can't like actually take it off without taking all the sticker off which i kind of want to leave that on i don't know it's just really weird to me. So it's a really cute eyeshadow palette. I like how you can move the actual like mirror around as well. And we've just got some really nice, beautiful colors in here. I also did get a color therapy nail polish from Sally Hansen. This one says it is an argan oil formula. This one is in the color Primrose and Proper 240. It's just a beautiful kind of pink color. So I also did get a CoverGirl Katie Cat Eye Mascara. I've never seen this before until I got there so I'm curious to see what this mascara is like. I've got a Models Prefer CC Unbelievable Color Correcting Mineral Powder. So I've never used one of these before so I'll definitely have to try it out. I also went past Ardell and they gave me me some lashes so I do have the 120 natural black lashes here and I've also got the black wispies glamour lashes so I also did get some sheet masks from skin republic I'll just rip it open and pull them out okay so we've got three masks here We've got the Oxygen Cleanse Face Mask, the anti-aging one, and also the anti-wrinkles. So I'm excited to try these out. I feel like I'm a face mask junkie, pretty much. I just love using them. I also do have a Models Prefer Samantha Jade Liquid Liner. I've actually already got this, but mine's pretty much dried out now. It's one of my favorite liquid liners. I just feel like it goes on really easily. So I've got some hair accessories. These are by Models Prefer. They're just some flowers. I feel like this is real 90s. Like I would have had these probably in the 90s when I was a kid. Something I'm really excited to use is the Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection Diamond Sponge. So I really want to try this out. Let me know if you want to see a video on me like using it for the first time because I really want to see what this is like. I also do have some hairspray by Batiste. This is the Hold Me Hairspray 24 Invisible hold. I do have a lipstick by CoverGirl as well. This is also by the Katy Perry collection. This one is in the color Sphinx. Sphinx? Sphinx? I can't say it. I don't know how to say the name of it. I know it's those cats with no hair. So that's the name and also the color of the lipstick. It's pretty well sealed so I think I'm just going to leave that on for now. So I do have a Rimmel lipstick here. This one is in the color 700 Trendsetter and I do remember this color because I picked it out and it's just a beautiful kind of nude color. I do have another lipstick by Rimmel. This one is in the color 780 90s Baby and it's a beautiful brown because I picked it out and I love brown lipsticks so it's a real nice kind of chocolatey brown and the last lipstick I've got here is 210 movement so you can tell I really like my kind of nudes and brown colors I've got another product by Bourjois here this is the mascara radiant black volume reveal mascara it's like a really long name it also comes with a mirror on it so if you want to do like your mascara on the go you've got a mirror and you just open it up it's quite large in packaging so that's what 
the wand looks like. So another product by Bijoir is the Brow Duo Sculpt. So you've got like a highlighting end here for under the brow. And you also do have the brow pencil on this side. So I do have like a Revlon kind of lipstick here and there's literally like no information on the packet. All I can see is Revlon Ultra HD lipstick and I don't know if this is going to tell me the color of it but I can't really see it. But that's what it looks like. It's very long in packaging. So I've got a little sample here of the Nip and Fab Kale Fix Moisturizer. So I do have another product here from Nip and Fab. This one says targeted concentrated for expression lines and wrinkles. So I think it's kind of like a pen. So it is a pen. I'm assuming you just kind of click this over and you put it on your wrinkles. So it does say twist to dispense, brush directly onto skin, massage in. For best results, apply before you moisturize. I do have another Trilogy item here. This is the Rosa Pen Radiance Serum. I really do like their packaging. It's very sturdy. So this one has sea algae and aloe in it. So another product here from Dr. Lewins. This is the Private Formula Nourish and Renew Day and Night Cream. It is for under your eyes, so it's like a firming eye cream. So I'll definitely have to try that one out. Okay guys, so that is my haul all done. I know this video was probably really, really long. I feel like I've been sitting here forever, but hopefully I can cut it down a little bit. I had so much fun at the event and I'm really grateful I got to go and receive all these products. But anyway guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these products because I'd really like to know your thoughts on them as well. And I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye!